What is up, ladies and gentlemen? So I just got this in the mail. This is an old D-Link 10100 switch. A lot of people are probably gonna be like, oh my God, why is he using that? But these things are actually not bad for uh, running miners off of. So I'm gonna consolidate down a couple of my little five port switches, get rid of those and run this 16 port switch. I was able to find this on eBay for $9 and it doesn't look very used. Um, now, I don't know how many and what kind of availability, but uh, yeah, older networking hardware still can be used because uh, a lot of like mining doesn't use a lot of a lot of throughput. You don't need gigabit internet. I mean, people run miners off of hotspots. So um, let's go fire this thing up and let's put some uh, some old D link. You know, put some D in the in the link. You know what I'm saying? That was a bad joke. <laughs> All right, so putting that 16 port switch in, I was able to downsize and take two eight port switches out. Sorry about all the fan noise. Um, so we have the 16 port switch in here and running. She's blinking away. And um, I still am running one five port switch that I had up there originally. It has those left side rigs plugged in. Um, I was thinking I probably could downsize those and put them onto there, but then this would be full. So then I wouldn't be able to expand any. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, but I've been eyeing some of the more expensive tech. I was looking at like a, I think it was a 32 port Ubiquiti switch. Um, of course, that would be stepping up into the big leagues. And right now we're talking about cost effective solutions. So that bad boy was $9 on eBay. For people that don't believe me, I'll put a screenshot up here, I guess sometime in the video. Um, but that is a 10 100 switch. And what that means is a theoretical maximum of 100 megabits can pass through one of those lines. And just to show you guys that, let's come over here to my computer. I was watching the Mr. Beast Squid Games, by the way, if you if y'all haven't seen that, it's uh, pretty funny. Um, now, let me refresh this because I don't want you guys to see my IP. Not that I don't trust you, but I don't trust you, you know what I'm saying? All right, so, let's see here. I'm going to do that speed test, and my desktop, just like everything else, is plugged in into that switch. So, 92 megabits, uh, I'm, not, I'm not upset with that. I pay for 200, um, but that's all the way back at the house. In my upload, I pay for 10 megabits, so eight, nine, that's not horrible. This is way better than what I did have before. I used to have uh, like DSL and it was five megabits down and one megabit up. So this still isn't like breaking technology or anything like that, but it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, yep, yep, yep. So with that being said, let me show you that, uh, that switch real quick. All right, and there she is right there, the D-Link 16 port. Got it for $9.89. I actually paid $9 in shipping, so this cost me right at 20 bucks. Um, I didn't realize that till now, but it's still, it'll hold me over till I can get something bigger. And now let me show you what I'm looking at upgrading to eventually, and I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on it. Maybe yay, nay, a better option. Let me know. All right, so here, this is the, actually the one I was looking at, and it's not a 32, it's a 48 port switch. This is a Ubiquiti, um, where we got, 399. They're sold out right now, uh, but apparently these bad boys can like, daggone, every, do everything but the kitchen sink. Uh, and that would give me a ton more plugs. Basically, this would be able to have everything plugged into it. And I mean, look at it, look at it, it's beautiful. Now, is this more than what I need? Probably. I'm gonna be honest, I'm very green to uh, like networking and stuff, but look at it. It's like it's got a little LCD screen on it and a little touch screen. So um, this is not limited to like the 10 100. These are 48 GBE. Are those, those are gigabit? Yeah. I think those are, those are gigabit ports, I believe. So that's a thousand megabits. So, um, this will carry way more data than any, than I can even, you know, fire at it. Uh, and it'll give me a bunch more slots, but I mean, it is literally 20 times or 40 times more expensive than what I just bought. 
Um, so yeah, yay, nay, should I do it? Should I not do it? Is there a better option? Is there a more cost effective option? Um, let me know down below and let me know what you guys are running because I am, I have been a big proponent of using these cheap little switches for a long time. I forgot I actually had one over here up underneath my desk for running like my test bench and stuff. Um, and these little bad boys were like, you know, 10, 15 bucks and they work. Uh, but every now and then I notice like, eh, it seems like I'll have to unplug it and plug it back in because it'll lose connection uh, to all the computers that are plugged into here and I'm not sure why. So let me know down below. And um, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh yeah, and for people that were asking how I have, because I have a home internet with a Wi-Fi uh, at my house, and then I have a, a line running down here. It's running in, and it runs into this router right here. And then out of that router, I have my switches plugged in and everything below that. And essentially, and don't, I'm probably gonna get some acronyms and some nameology things wrong here, but I have a network running inside of a network. So that, uh, that router is doing the switching for, or the, the IP address and DHCP for everything inside of the garage. So everything inside of here. Um, and the router at the house is only doing for the, the router at the house. So whenever I try to access and see stuff on the network here, I can only see what's inside here and vice versa. Whenever I'm on that side, I believe I can only see what's in there. And this, this side actually just shows up as one address. Um, I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but it seems to be working so far. And um, some people said it's a little bit more secure. I don't know how it'd be more secure because if you get access, you get access. There seems to be no extra security involved in that, but um, um, that's how I'm doing it. And I, I just went into that ASUS, that's an ASUS router. I went into it and I set it up as, I can't remember what it was, but it was their like default wizard. And it was like, is this connected through another router? I hit yes. And then boom, she set up everything and, and we're live action. But it does throw me off sometimes because the like the default um, gateway looks a little bit different. So accessing the router and then accessing other devices, like especially like logging into ant miners and stuff, my um, my IP my internal IP addresses are all over the place. Um, they just don't look anything normal. But uh, yeah, so other than that guys, peace out. I'll see you on the next one. Adios.